Hello, I'm going to do the Pisces Weekly Love Energy. And this is still a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with you. This is for the 23rd to the 29th. All right, so we're going to pick an overall energy for the week. This one seems to be standing out for me. And this is Romance. Cupid's Arrow Strikes. Well, that's a good sign for you, Pisces. All right, let's pick some tarot, and then we will pick some Romance Angel cards. We've got Eight of Swords. Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles, the Sun card, the Fool, Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Hierophant. To me, I'm feeling that you're afraid to do something. There are some changes that have come in that you are afraid of and you're holding back. You don't want change. You want to hang on to what was happening before, how things were before. You have the Eight of Swords, which is being afraid to move forward, um, being afraid because of fear. You have Four of Pentacles, which represents holding on to something, keeping to yourself, blocking energy. But you have below the Eight of Swords, you have the Sun card, which when I saw it, I felt it was saying, it's going to be okay. Yes, change is coming. You have the Fool, which is new beginnings, but it's something that you need to do, that you need to grow from, that you need to move forward from. Um, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is change. We have the Emperor. The Emperor is Aries, and the Hierophant is Taurus could have to do with those signs but not necessarily the emperor is somebody who knows what they want knows where they want to go knows what they want to do um, and the hierophant is looking to a higher power knight of pentacles is slow steady progress it's about um, good changes in life um, good things are coming For some reason, I feel that some of you are holding on to a past breakup or you're in a relationship that, you're, that you don't want to move forward from. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles. It's a relationship, definitely, because we have the, a queen and a king. When I saw these two cards, my thought is that you were holding on to a relationship. You were staying in a relationship out of necessity or obligation. That maybe this the part your partner wants to move forward, but you don't. But you're not holding on to it for the right reasons. I feel that you are not happy. I feel that you want change because we have the Wheel of Fortune on the top line with these two. The Wheel is also the Karma card or the Destiny card. It's about a new cycle. I'm surprised the death card didn't come up. Let me pick from another deck because I'm pretty... Let's clarify this, this king and queen of swords.
What does what does that mean? Now you have the King of Cups, so that could represent you as a water sign. The lovers, Gemini, and Six of Wands, success. I feel that it's a new relationship that wants to come in for you that's a very successful relationship that is with the person that you're supposed to be with. But you are holding on to this current relationship and because you are doing that, you are blocking this new relationship coming in. I feel this is rep representing you because this is cups. and. This is the relationship, but this is your new relationship that's coming in that's a very successful relationship and a very positive one. It's the one that you've been looking for, the one that you've been wanting, but because you are holding on to this, you are blocking this energy from coming in. Because you are, I feel like you are afraid, but like I said, there's a new beginning for you and this is your new beginning. And it's successful. Believing in a higher power that things will fall in place the way, that, the way that they should be. And having that confidence in knowing that things will fall in place. Honeymoon. Okay. Enjoying time together. Maybe I feel that maybe you're not enjoying the time that you're with your partner right now. Codependency, that's exactly what I was saying. That I feel that someone is, you are codependent on this relationship and you're feeling like you can't let go and you're holding on to this relationship out of necessity or um, obligation. You have to stay positive about your love life. Romance. Cupid's arrow is the first one that came out. And you are afraid to move forward. But like I said, I definitely feel like there is a beautiful new relationship coming in for you. Let's pick some angel answers. But you're blocking that because you're holding on to to a relationship. It could be that you are holding on to a past relationship that even though you're broken up, you keep thinking about this person and maybe you keep reaching out to this person and you keep trying to, because of codependency, you keep wanting this relationship to happen even though it's just not the right one for you. You have to reconsider this, okay? You have to reconsider what you're doing here. Why do you keep reaching out? Why do you keep trying to reach out to somebody that's not feeling the same way that you are? By doing that, you are blocking this new relationship that wants to come in. Listen to your intuition. What is it saying? Is this relationship that you're in really right for you? Is this really the one that you want to be in? Is this really how you want the rest of your life to be? Do you want to continue to block this beautiful, successful, loving connection where you are enjoying time with this person? All right, you have to stay optimistic about your love life and sometimes we have to make changes and choices that are scary and that are hard and that are difficult, but we know inside that it's the right thing to do. And at first it may seem scary and that maybe we've made a mistake, but over time you will see that you did the right thing. You will see that that is what you needed to do in order to grow 
and in order to find that relationship that is right for you because you know you deserve better. Lots of food for thought for you, Pisces. Lots for you to think about. Sometimes we like to make relationships out to be better than what they are. We are only we're only we romanticizing a relationship with that we are really not happy with. And I feel that that is what you are doing. You are romanticizing a, relation, the, a current relationship or a, a breakup that you had. You're making it out to be better than what it was. And you have to reconsider this. You have to listen to your, your intuition and realize that this is not what it seems that you are making it out to be. And this will help you to bring in this beautiful relationship that's waiting for you. That is a new beginning and a new start. Okay. You got the lovers right in the middle of, of your reading. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Lots for you to think about. Doesn't mean it's going to happen overnight. It could just be the process, but recognizing it is the first step and then moving forward. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.